What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike and Chris. What's up? <laughs> What's up? That was a smooth intro. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, this this is the is smooth, a... dulcet sounds of The Walking right? Dead. This is episode seven. Open your eyes. This is even Uh What's up, Mikey? You like this episode? Yes or no? It was okay. Ah, it was yeah. okay. I mean, yeah, obviously, poor, right. poor Sadiq, but we've been talking about this for a little while now that we're kind of like Bye, at Sadiq. odds with his character. And we weren't a fan of the trifecta or... The um the family. trip factor, if you if you yeah. ask me, um, um yeah, dude, yeah. you're right, man, you're right. I was at yeah, it we're was, at I the... mean, It was okay. There was some good points of it, but it wasn't one of these standard episodes. And I'm like, wow, that was a really good one. Yeah, I mean, I I like Sadiq. I like the character. I like the actor. Uh, he actually just was on a recent episode of uh, Silicon Valley, which is pretty good. Uh -huh. Um, but no, so yeah, dude, the whole thing, the this whole thing was like he kept making them sicker and sicker by giving them the water. Yeah. And I was like, well, when are you going to figure this out? Number one. Number two, I mean, since we're talking about Sadiq, you know, first of all, I knew, we knew Dante was a dirtbag. Yeah, you knew, knew he was, was weird about that always guy, right? something up with that dude. And it was just, yeah. he was so creepy and stupid. And they didn't try to hide that fact. And, you know, I like the whole scene where he figures it out and he's like, oh, open your eyes. And he's like, oh, yeah. So all his stupid PTSD, I mean, I mean you know, I mean. Uh, I won't call it stupid simply because that that you know thing is not stupid. That, uh, that uh, term, yeah, that or the uh, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I can't speak. I'm so, I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, the the condition is not stupid, yes. but Sadiq, us watching him for the past in the entire season, you know, it finally, finally, you know, it finally does him good because he realizes, oh shit, it's this guy, you know, um, and then the whole thing. So he dies and. Uh, I don't know. At first, I was kind of like, "All right, did he did he go? Is he dead?" You know, it's kind of was all everything was really confirmed. Well, um, in the in the coming attraction, well, well, Talking Dead also, and the coming attract. I didn't see. I didn't watch Talking Dead. I watched yeah. coming attractions, and they show the, yeah. the yeah. So, I mean, yeah. I liked I liked him with Rosita. I like when they were like, that? I did because he was like, "We have a kid." And he's like, "Yeah, we have a kid." You know, yeah, I like, don't like that they were like almost like kissed or whatever kind of a thing. I think it's like I mean, no, that well. I just enough simply would have been enough. But. Yeah, I mean, again, it's that it's that quadrangle, but I just I simply liked that they acknowledged it because the whole thing, you know, and then he was like, you know, he's giving Eugene props. Like I, I just enjoyed that conversation because of, of what they said. Okay. But you know, the whole thing one of the things that bothered me was this fucking water system. Why do you have it it says drinkable and undrinkable? Why what what does that even mean? I guess maybe some of the water that comes in is filtered first, and maybe that's the that's but the. But why is there a switch uh, that's I mean, able I to be turned upside down? It's like maybe for not it was not, like I guess like how would you be able to? And stuff. also, Mikey, how the hell would you be able to be able to tell if it's undrinkable? How would you even know that? It looks like piss. Up, oh, don't drink it. But that yeah. shit looks like piss anyway, probably, because it's not going through an actual filtration system. Number one. Number two. Well, we don't know, because obviously Eugene and, and Sadiq are the only ones that are touching it. The sign was there. But that that's said, what, yeah, it was just no weird. No fiddling. So there must have been some kind and, of unless, unless, answer to that Right. Unless we right missed now. something, and those of you watching this can, like, fill me in and, and help me figure this out. But I'm like, why would it say drinkable and undrinkable? Why would those be the two words that you would put there? Like, I, I mean, I get the overall I mean, concept, the yeah, the but how would you know that it's not? Oh, click. Oh, it's down. It's down to undrinkable. When do we put it back up? And then you see that it's reversed. I was like, that's it's like they have to add another wrinkle. They just couldn't help themselves. It's like adding a fourth person in a love triangle. You just can't help yourselves. You have yeah. to add that extra thing of, oh, it was upside down. But that yeah. still doesn't explain shit. He didn't figure anything out. You don't know what's happening to the water. You just saw that it was instead of being drinkable, it's undrink. Like maybe that undrink undrinkable water is the that that river where you know what I mean. Maybe it was just a body of water that they knew isn't the cleanest. Oh wait a you minute. You know what I mean? Oh, so 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 I'm trying to picture it, dude. Did they have multiple taps on it? Was that it? 
Oh, well, multiple, was that multiple, it? Uh, yeah, I mean. So was it multiple sources, and the undrinkable was the one that you can clean probably, your, your, yeah, you know, your, your fucking your vagina with or something, or, and yeah, then you, something. and then the, and then the fucking drinkable you could drink, but he had yeah. it reverse, so he's giving them, all right, the dirty, the dirty water. That the makes water. sense now. All right, we figured it out. The well water. That's that's got to be it then. All right, that's got to be it. That yeah. makes sense now, because I'm flipping, dude. I'm flipping out, going. I don't understand this. I, 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 I guess I didn't realize it could have been two different sources. I guess maybe when they're washing pots and pans. That's what I'm saying. Stuff. When you're washing yeah. your boots or the bloody yeah. knives or your instruments or your weapons. They that can you... easily switch it to. You right, know, I right. Guess right. Let's not waste our problem. clean water. Right. All right. Yeah. Okay, good. Fuck it. We're done. It's done. But anyway, with the water, now, yes. Um, and I was going to say, when the hell are they going to figure this thing out that it's got to be the water? And then all episode, he's just giving people water and water and water and water. You know? So, but does that mean... But if they already knew... So here's another thing. If they already knew that that was undrinkable, what the hell was Gamma doing? Does she think she was doing something? Because now that negates everything she was doing if we thought that was the situation. You know what I mean? You know yeah, what? I don't know. Unless she knew which lake or river or whatever it was that they use as undrinkable water, and those are the walker... How is she fucking, thing. right? It's like, I don't how think so. She... Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think we're reading way too into that. Forget it. It's pe we're pe Speaking well, of Gamma... Yes, speaking of Gamma. What did you geez. think? What did you think about her and Aaron and then him giving her the picture? I was like, really? Uh, My daughter yeah. drew this. Yeah, let her know that you have a child there. Mm -hmm. And then and then she's like, you have children? Yeah, and I was everything? thinking the same thing. Like, what are you doing? He's giving He was at that moment of the episode he was giving way too much then. Yeah, than, I didn't uh, like that. Then what was she like, was what obviously. Doing? But after them talking later on, uh, as the episode went on, we see that uh, they're kind of talking about. Uh, uh, we see Carol bring Lydia in, and that just makes makes. Uh, well, that Gamma was the point. Crazy. Carol, well, that was the whole point. Carol, Carol is Carol's an asshole, but she's an asshole that's doing something at least. She's doing something, but she's kind of doing it on her own terms. Well, yeah, and, and it's not Lydia, it's not completely correct, but she's doing she's got this dude by herself. Well, Daryl help, but no, actually she did it by herself. She got yeah. the guy by herself. She used Lydia to get the point across to Gamma, who's now going to go. Here's the other thing: Gamma goes back and gets a little psh, psh, gets a little a little tap on the paw because she, had, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, um, I'm, well, because she's she actually was seemed like they were really happy. She. She enjoyed po possibly these these the, the communications with Aaron. No, no, I know that, and, but that's my point. And that's, then, that's the yeah. But my and, my whole my whole point is that Alpha, Alpha having that Alpha's been very lax lately, letting everyone fucking slide. I mean, yeah, she killed the dude a couple yeah. episodes ago, but that's besides the point. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. It's just they're just dragging it out. I don't know. <laughs> and who, does anybody know? Because it seems like is Aaron is just by himself on the on the. Well, bridge or at, whatever. At, it's any, like, at any time. Is he talking to anybody else? Because we only see him on the bridge. Is he talking to anybody else at at um Hilltop at Alexandria right, yeah. about what he's doing? Do they un do they know what he's doing? Probably not, because he's just out. It's like where the hell's Aaron? But, he's yeah, gone. Yeah, you haven't seen him going back and forth or anything. We're only seeing him on this bridge. So that's what some of the questions I was I was wondering about that is is um you know, because that that's very that would be something that you would want to hear what Michonne has to say. Michonne's or, or, in Oceanside. So. Or I know, I know. But I would like to I'd like to hear some of the, the, the leader characters, the the Carols, the Darrells, the, the Michonnes talking with Aaron about, hey, dude, say this. Try to get this out of her. Try to do this right. out of her. Yeah, Instead nobody knows saying, he's doing it. Yeah, I don't know. That's Everybody's off doing, doing their own thing. So Deke's yeah. getting killed and, and killing other people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, and and they're all sick, and they're all. It's they, like, prob they probably don't know because honestly, if they knew that he was already communicating, especially with like a big wig in in Alpha's Whisperer Army, mm -hmm. Carol wouldn't have needed to get this guy. Right? Couldn't they have tried to smooge Gamma a little bit more, like Did Aaron seemed to be doing, and instead of yeah. snagging one of the um, Guardian Whisperers, whatever they call them? And also, did I miss something? How did Carol know Aaron was doing that? That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't know. Like she just fucking shows up with Lydia. How did yeah. they never spoke? Did they? Did Aaron ever see, see the prisoner? Him. No. So Not that's that what I'm saying. Know. Like as a viewer, we don't. We that's that's the whole point. We have seen him. Lydia's Lydia's in the cage. Lydia's in Negan's cage, and, and Dara's like, "Get out! 
got to put this guy in there. Yeah. And then this guy's in there, and, and she's feeding him, and blah, blah, blah. And then the fucking, you know, oh, by the way, I think that Dante put that shit in there, like, knowing Sadiq's messed up, and, like, he's the one that actually killed the guy. Like, he put that other stuff in there. And he's like, oh, but I thought it was this. And he's like, who packed it? Must it? Be. It must be because yeah. maybe if the guy would have blurted out some information about the whispers that it, it's weird. It, it's just weird. Um, is is Dante in in communication with the whispers, even though he's living in Alexandria? Right. You know? what? Probably. He's, Mike. He's, Probably. He's, you know, they're very good with that. L- look at Alpha in le- the last season when she infiltrated right. the, the kingdom. She put on you that know? lovely wig and sun So, hat. yeah. So it's um, I mean, listen, they're very they're very strategic. They're very they're smart. Sneaky. But We've the, seen that. But that's the thing. Where's how's uh, you know speaking about Aaron getting out and doing whatever the hell he wants? Yeah, Gamma is able to just leave whenever the hell she wants. Well, I, Alpha knows that she was supposed to be getting information from him. That's what she said, right? Yeah, okay. She trust. was like, yeah. Well, that was the whole point. That's why she gets the lashings because Alpha says you need to come with something, and then in that second part, right, Gamma yeah. grabs Alpha uh, Aaron by the by the neck with the knife, and that's when right. uh, which McCall comes out. Uh, Carol comes out. So, yeah, I mean, I, I feel bad, really, for Lydia in this because she's like the pawn in this whole thing. And she obviously rightly so feels the same. And that's why she decides to go. Um, there was a moment in the episode where Lydia and Carol were talking after she comes out of the cell. And and um, Lydia is talking about how um, Alpha has this control over them and, and she and, and uh, over the other whispers. And if they saw what we have here, yeah. that they might just leave her and understand that um there is something other than what the whispers and alpha and beta are giving these yeah. these people so dude lean back to your right i don't know why you're leaning so much out of the box uh, I don't know, i'm leaning like <laughs> looking at my notes but yeah it's um you know it so it, it is it's a power struggle kind of a thing or not even necessarily a power struggle it's just more about um how it, carol versus the others really in how they're going to treat this, the whisperers in general and, and this, this whisperer prisoner before he dies of this, uh, yeah, whatever the hell they called it. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. Cause it also seems like they might, there's, they'll, there's a potential r- uh, rift in friendship between Carol and Daryl also after this episode. Well now, well, I mean, he, first he, of all, he knows. And Michonne specifically said, we need to take care of this girl. It was, it was Daryl's, um, a word to Alpha about keeping her safe, and once the Whispers and Alpha find out if they do that Lydia's gone, then what's going to stop the Whispers of just pushing this horde right over them now right. that Lydia's gone? Yeah. Uh, so that it's a big Lydia well, is that right. And once case. they find out, right, and the people that know is Dante knows. So we'll see what happens to him after. Well, is he going to go? This- is he going premier. back? Is he, right? He's going to go I'm, back, and I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he, they're going to find. Well, Gamma's going to tell Alpha that. Yeah, well, like Gamma, Gamma's going to cause some exactly. shit now. And exactly. what's going to happen is Beta going to fucking. And then what's Negan going to do? So we're in this whole big thing. You know, the best yeah. part, my favorite, right now during you know this season, is Carol. She's my favorite right now. I love the fact that she's just doing whatever the fuck she wants. I just enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy that Daryl can't contain her. Nobody can contain. Her. I love it. I, and that's my favorite part right now of the season. Yeah. Just watching her mess shit up. She's just messing everything up. It's like she's just gonna get shit done. That's fine. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, it, it, are are the whisp the the whispers that aren't the, these head rolls are they expendable? We're we're seeing. Um, we saw Beta kill whisp- you know, other whispers like no problem. They're like, mm-hmm. oh my god, that's Tony, you know, Alpha killing some. Is that Bill? You know, like I, w- I wonder if she really knows. Will she miss this whisperer? Will she miss this guy that Carol, um, kid kidnapped or yeah, right. took as took. So I'm saying they're very, they just very willy so we'll nilly. S- yeah. So we'll see how. Obviously, Al, the guy, this guy was in charge of the horde, right? And, and keeping the horde at bay and keeping the horde in. Uh, well, well, and that's my point, dude. They just kill random whisperers whenever they want. Your numbers saying. are not. Your what's, numbers, the pecking, what's the pecking order? But not only that, it's like. But important or not. There's a finite amount of you guys. You're not getting new recruits every day. Where are you getting? No, you, I'm assuming there's. I'm, I'm assuming there's quite a bit still. Though. Yeah, but still, like you're still taking away from your I army. Agree. You're I adding agree. to your Walker army, which is which is one thing. 
Yeah. It's, I don't know, man. It's fucking whatever. Anyway, it's, let's be done with this. I want to be done with this episode. You want to be done? You want to be done with this? I'm well, over it. We got, go. we got the mid-season premiere, finale. which I'm sure uh, uh, finale. I'm sure it's going to be. I have a feeling this one's going to be really good. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll hold you uh, to it. What's that? You got to hold me to it? I'm going to hold you to it. All right. Well, I didn't write the show or. You know, so uh, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I like you guys that. Don't enjoy it. Exactly. I was like, all right, well, hold on now. Well, hold on now. No, but I, I, I mean, I think we're at that point where um, the show's this the show's been much more exciting since Angela Kang came on to this, and it's not nearly as slow and, and painful as some of the other past seasons have been. Um, so usually the premieres, the the mid season things, the finales, all these kind of things seem to be um, a little bit more exciting yeah. lately. So right. let's hope for that, let's guys. See. We'll um, see. Thanks, thanks for for watching, obviously, and listening for our review for episode seven. Right in the comments section below, we'd love to hear from you guys. The more comments, Word. the better. We'll try to get to as many as we can. Very easy to find us at Third Person uh, Pod on all the social media outlets. ThirdPersonPod.com in the Google search brings us right to uh, brings you right to the YouTube page where we have some great interviews. Um, uh, from some fantastic uh, actors, set designers, makeup artists. We have a whole bunch of cool stuff there. So uh, click the link. I think Chris always puts them in the boxes. So yeah, you'll see. Somewhere. They're above, our you'll see. above and below our heads. <laughs> That's right. Uh, thanks again, everybody that um, uh, supports and shows love for third person. Yep. So we'll see you on the next uh, the finale mid-season thing. Mid-season yeah. finale. We'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs> Peace.